conversation at this time, we'll be talking about the African traditional um, medicine day, which is celebrated um, every 31st of August. We are joined by the Director of Traditional, Complementary and Alternative Medicine Department, Federal Minister of Health, um, Titus Tiller. We also have Professor Mohamed Ibrahim Jawa, who is the founder and CEO of MIJ College of Traditional Medicine, Damatu Uyubi. Good morning, gentlemen, and thanks for coming. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let, let Professor Jawa, um, what are some of the issues, particularly around um, traditional complementary and alternative medicine, and what steps, uh, particularly also uh, when we talk about strategic collaborations with government, you see that um, has been put in place to ensure that um, this, of course, uh, continues to get the support of Nigerians and also new um, innovations in this particular kind of medicine. All right, um, our guest is here and we will start the conversation. We have here joining us the former Director of Training and Deputy Director of Operations at Nigerian Air Force Headquarters, Air Commodore Abayo Mibalogun, also served as Assistant Director of Peacekeeping Operations, Nigerian Air Force Headquarters, and Assistant Director of Operations at Defense Headquarters. It's so good to have you, Air Commodore. Good morning. We would like to take your first reaction to the um, development in Niger, yeah. particularly from the part of the African Union. After the in, last visit. Yes, yeah. exactly. Um, what's your reaction uh, to the suspension of Niger uh, for, um, from the AU? This organization um, as World Malaria Day. We'll be having that interview shortly. But in the light of keeping you abreast of recent development um, with Nigerians in Sudan, we are joined um, virtually by Dr. Aisha Yusuf Ibrahim. Um, she's one of the parents whose son, uh, Mohamed Al Amin Ibrahim, is a final year medical student um, of El Razi University, uh, Khartoum, Sudan. And she'll be telling us um, updates on what is happening, as well as also other developments uh, from Khartoum, uh, Sudan. It's so good to have you join us, Dr. Aisha. Thank you for joining us on Kakake this morning. Our first interview is up next. Yes, our first interview is up next. We will be appraising the situation in, in Gabon, particularly with uh, the military coup uh, that, was, uh, that took place um, yesterday. We have uh, joining us to drive this conversation from our Nigerian ambassador to Ethiopia, Ambassador Nkoyo Toyo, who is also a lawyer. It's so good to have you join us, Ambassador. Good morning. It's good to have you again. All right, thanks for staying with us. Uh, we're talking boxing now, yeah? <laughs> Just box day, your side. <laughs> All right, then we're looking at boxing meets comedy show, of course, uh, with the lead consultant. Yeah, thanks for coming. I'd, I'd like to start with um, Emmanuel. So, boxing, comedy. Why boxing and comedy? Um, let's take um, Chima now. Chima, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I'm sure that you saw the report uh, before the interview started. How would you react to some of the issues raised with, of course, um, a hint on the fact that the census is um, scheduled to take place next week? All right, we now turn attention to the 10th National Assembly, especially on the controversy over the leadership contest as the race to occupy these top positions have been very fierce. And of course, it's the day today uh, with the inauguration of the 10th Assembly. We're now joined by Two gentlemen in the studio, one the Supreme Leader of the Natives, um, Olali Kon Edwards, and the Special Assistant to the outgoing Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Dominic Alacha. Thank you gentlemen for coming. Mm. Thank you for having me. All right. All right, the bane of our conversation at this time revolves around the development in Niger, uh, joining us to um, look at this and of course also provide solutions, particularly at the time when ECOWAS chiefs have said that they will, of course, move troops to the country if dialogue fails. There are also other developments. And joining us to drive conversations around this is the former director of Army Public Relations, General Sani Usman, who is here in the studios. So good to have you. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much. All right, General Usman. Well. Good morning, Rosemary. I'd like to start with you. Um, was maybe 45 ministers um, took their oath of office yesterday. That, of course, is a mixed bag of, for example, green ons, you know, in governance, formal governors there, former parliamentarians, um, captains of industry who held sway in the various sectors they have been, particularly in the private sector. What is your candid appraisal of the cabinet uh, that was um, inaugurated yesterday? 
It is now time for us to have our second interview. And yes, we are looking at the life and time of a very important man in the history of Nigeria, especially one who was notably the one to design and uh, sketch the Nigerian flag. Definitely. We'll be reflecting on the life and times of the man who designed and interpreted Nigeria's flag pa Taiwo Akinkumi, who died at the age of 87 on Wednesday. We are now joined by the executive directors of Twins Action Aid International, Taiwo and Kende Olufunsho, who jointly promoted Pa Akinkumi on Kakaki for many years before he was awarded Officer of the Federal Republic by the government of former President Goodluck Jonathan. So good to have you, um, Taiwo and Kende. Good morning. So we move from electricity tariff to development in the 10th National Assembly. We will be looking at the controversy over the appointment of aides in the Nigerian Senate uh, with um, tongues wagging saying that the appointment is in favor of a particular region. There is also um, another problem of um, subtle moves by some senators. 